Hello and welcome to my coding session. This is actually I'm recording the process of creating my application. This is a useful JavaFX application which allows a user to manage satellite information in form of nice GUI and this allow very very nice experience like for example like this. So this this actually this is a mock-up picture of the almost final final version of my software. So let's go back to the overview. So next step in my development process, I need to create a class which instantiate service info object. And service info object say consists a channel list per satellite. So my service model getting access a JDOM document from the XML reader class, and after that it creates, uh, depending on amount of satellites, it creates many uh, service info objects, which consist channel list for each of the satellite. So in this example, probably it will be like this: Sirius, Sirius, Astra, uh, Astra, and so on. Sorry for my drawing; I'm not a designer. But let me just recapitulate. It is very important to understand where the project goes. So I have created a class which can read satellite information. Now I have to create in TDD style the class which can read uh, services XML and create such objects which then later can be used and will be used in the uh, presentation in the graphical user interface. So let me switch back to the Eclipse and let's just start to work on, on the project further. So next things to test. So. Testing if such services can read a JDOM document, this, it was done. So let me just quickly, I will use the same pattern which I have used in my other things, it just happened. Um, let me just maximize it, yep, okay, so now I need to, so the next move will be like this, I need to copy this part of code and write first failing uh, next failing test for my ser set services model test and I just paste the code and I need to rename it let me save it so testing if set services model I think this is the right name of my right name of my class which I which I have to test set services model set information ah ok so I was pretty puzzled set services set ok set services model alright so what I need to do Testing if site services model JDOM document set up. So I need to create, I need to use the same object which I have done previously, like this. Oops, didn't, didn't copy it right. So, like this, like this. And now I need to save it. Uh, check, check if the if JDOM document setup is set up read and set up jdom document because i'm working with jdom and here i write set services can save jdom document Okay, this will be sufficient. Now I need to run this test. 
this basically I wrote basically a failing test yeah today I have <laughs> I'm actually trying to record this session for the first time because I did experience some failures I mean hardware failures but this is no problem so yep I have written failing test and now I just need to pass the test and basically I have to find out what I have written in set services model no not I mean in the set model yeah here I have this class and I'm actually looking for a read up and set up DOM document let me just copy that now I need to delete this sign so I have here the method I need to copy that now I need to copy into my code I don't like it the view set services model now I need to copy to paste this code here now I need to correct the name set services model model test so I'm copying this document like this switching back to my model oops too many times and now I need to to create this method this is a private method let me just find it out in the set model uh, basically this is this is a method well okay this is a method which I'm looking for and here after this after the code in my set model set services model I need to paste in and and you see I have a need to create setjdom document if you think this is pre that I'm pretty fast because uh, this code is the same code which I have done previously and this is actually quite good what I'm doing here so I need check if jdom document to use uh, proper names like this oops I did not copy it well now let me just put it li like this and now he's uh, telling me that I have not set up this uh, variable okay now I go to my model class now I am in in my set services model now I'm paste this variable save it now I need getter on setter Th this should be sufficient so source getter on setter getter on setter save it Think. Now let's look it up. I cannot understand why she set services. Set services. Check if JDOM document set up. think this is a problem with Eclipse let me just sometimes you cannot be 
You cannot make sure that Eclipse doing the right stuff. Mm. Wait a second. Hmm. Got a little bit strange. Check if Jade was created. Check if JDOM document is set up. Is set up not available here. So, yeah, things like that ha can happen. So, set services model, model test, and he does not like it. Uh, document. That's pretty strange. Let me just do like this. I'm actually... No, this is not what I'm... No, 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 no. Of course. Let me just think. Let me just think it through. So here I'm using this method. And this method is must must be a public method. Public boolean check if J document has root element, yes. And why I have a problem in my set services model class. It is here. Set services model class. Ah, because I, I'm using, wait a minute, I shouldn't do set services model, let me just delete it, and let me just use a proper, proper name, so let me just use it from here, yep, it is a problem when you have so much code in your code. But right now I'm actually solving this problem, and now I can I can use it as a proper name of this. So let me JDOM document J save it. You just need to write here here. Now I just need to. Alright, J. Let's save it and run the test. And I hope it does not fail. Yep. So, let me quickly explain what I have done. I added another case from my previous class. This case, checking if if I set up my JDOM document. So first of all he calls the read and set up JDOM document method and after that he verifies and this is actual result. And 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 this is how I make sure that I'm doing the right stuff. And yeah things like that. So what I have need to, I need to structure my things a little bit. So I have set model. Let me just let me just quickly make sure that I'm having the right the right classes. Uh, let me just do it. So I have here in my clip set model test services. All right. So next stop is the next test. Let's proceed proceeding further. So now when I have written such tests, 
I need to write another failing test. And this will be following. Check amount of satellite. And this will be pretty, 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 making sure that I'm working with right stuff. Now I'm writing a failing test. Satellites with channel thing. I didn't spell it right. Yep, right. Channel channel services channels uh, services is ok and now what I need to do in this test case let me just quickly go here copy this object set services object here like this and now only thing which I need to do, I need to make sure that I'm calling the proper name, JDOM document. Maybe I should refactor it, but I mean in the model, so that I have uh, proper name in my model class. Read and set up JDOM document, JDOM, JDOM document. And I will basically do after the passing this failing test. So always refactor your code. So what I'm actually thinking about to do. I need to create calculate amount of satellites for services for services for services and this is basically checking amount of services with channels and I don't need this I think this will be sufficient yep maybe if I can here okay so now I just need to create this method and let me create this method in my class and I need to copy the stuff from set model. This is basically what I am expecting to get and I need to copy here rename it delete this part of code and now what I am need to do so here is another interesting thing in this method calculate amount of satellites for services I'm actually actually passing not set but rather, uh, let me just compare satellite XML. So here I have set, but in in my case, in the services I have. Uh, okay, so I have here set two. Let me just let me just compare some stuff. So set here, satellite point XML services point XML. We have here set. So all right. This should should work. Okay, check names of set and create information object. Okay. So amounts of sets. Let me just think where okay, so this is a local variable and element list. Set amount of satellites for let me just I need I need to create um 
I need to look it up. I need to look it up in my model. Uh, let me just look it up in my model. Okay, so I have here mount mount. I think this is a proper name. All right, so I need to call to copy this to my services. And basically, I am copying here, and I need my getter on setup for this. And I need, I see, I need to move this part of code just for quality reasons and I need to create here setter and get a get a, get a setter for amount of satellites like this and now I now this code should work and now I need only to create another method another private method which calculates the numbers of satellites Mm, let me just do this. Set model. Now I need to look it up. And here you go. Um, all right. So this is what what I'm actually amounts of satellites. Let me just think through. <laughs> Here I'm calculating the, actually the amount, and if that name is not empty, it will be quite sophisticated. <laughs> but you, I'm actually don't do not have a wish to make so complex. So basically basically what I need to do check amount and set of set and create information object here I'm setting up so I need to create this method let me just do this and this method will need this method need actually to calculate how many uh, how many settlers do I have so in order to do this I need to to make sure that I have that I am getting that I'm getting actually a name of the satellite and let, let me just look at the context so you see there can be sometimes a problem and basically calculate amount of satellites So here I need to write my for loop. I need to write here my for loop. And I have here my for loop. Check name. Alright, so now I need to do this for loop. And of course I need a local um, local variable for this case. Let me just create it. So now create some information objects. I don't need this method. Maybe later at later point I will need this set amount of satellites. So here 
I need. So here I have here one level deep into sod. You see, it is good to have uh, clean naming uh, notation and it using a attribute value name. Mm. And this is actually what what I'm getting here from the satellites. And this is the same case with the uh, services. So I can. I don't need the, to change this line. Uh, actually, I need to write this method. Which, so what I'm passing here? I'm passing here amounts of sets from the. Okay, and then I have set name. This set amount of satellites. I'm not. I do not need this. And I need to return amount of sets after the for loop. Return. Now I need to create this method. And now I just need to make sure that I am. Let me just do the right thing. So here's the case. And I need to calculate. And calculation happens in this method. So basically, check if he has a set of information. Wait, so let me just do it. Let's just quickly overview. I need to check it before I can calculate so chicken let me just do this like this and basically Return, return. And this, should, this should work. And I need to rename it because I don't like it. Uh, refactor, rename. So what I need to do, check if set has a name and set info object calculate amount, uh, check has a name, this is what I'm actually doing and set sat and check and services, services info object calculate amount of sets. This should, this should actually work. Now let's just quickly overview what what I'm getting here. I'm passing through my initial value amounts of satellites. Yep. And now I'm passing the uh, elements, which is lists of JDOM documents. I mean, JDOM document have elements, and I'm iterating here over this, over this elements here. And now here I'm sending each element to this method. And if this method is not now, I need to calculate uh, the amount of sets. 
and I do not need other stuff actually right now to do let me just let me just run this run my test I think I can pass my test no I'm actually expecting to get a free because I know that in my case I have only three satellites now I just need to run this test <clears throat> all right so I'm passing through all my tests I think maybe maybe I should do another thing let me just let me just uh, do the get uh, let me just actually um, I have a wish to get get amounts of satellites let's just try this and I hope this works okay so this works pretty well finally some progress on this side and yeah I did create it private methods but they're not so big as it was at the at other class pretty short and pretty obvious you can hope I hope you can understand if you're not uh, good I mean if you have not so much experience in programming but you still can understand what this is actually doing so once again check if set has a name and services info object calculate amount of sats okay now let's continue let me just make sure that I have here space and let me just continue with the further uh, tests for my set services information I'm actually yeah I did not did I did I create it uh, ah I haven't finished uh, with the stuff mm, okay so at some point I will switch to I will create this class mm, set services information set services information class which will represent entities of channel lists for each of the satellite now I need to think about next test in my in my test driven development so what should I do I have a need uh, to look up my set model test and here to to go with another test check if the amount of satellites is okay basically basically do I need this test check amount of satellites Mm, I don't think that I need particularly right now this test because I using the same the same stuff setting up set model and calculate amount of satellites okay so setting up a set model ah it wasn't it wasn't a test maybe if I, I can move it I don't like it uh, let me just put it where it is uh, check if set information object are created okay so here here I go here here is a test which 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 uh, show me the way to, to do another stuff so set services model I 
I thinking about a property about calculation of satellites, but let me just write my test um, first. So basically, I need setting up a set model and wait a second check if set information objects are created but I need to create in my set services model test check if set set services are created set services I can write of course set, set services information but I don't think this make any sense I will in this case keep the name very short so setting up set model and calculating amounts of satellites setting up set services and calculating amount of satellites set model object create Okay, so I need to put another name for the object. So I doing here create set services objects. Objects. All right. So next thing to do. To, I need to look up this method and of course the name of this method is different let me just copy this part and here I need to open this this part setting up set model calculate so read and set up JDOM document and I think I have written this method already calculate amount of satellites ah, okay well basically basically I think before before I do write another another stuff because here I'm doing the creation of set model information objects and let me just quickly think how I how I wish to do this I'm calling this method I have written such methods earlier so basically let me just postpone this decision on on running this test I just need to I don't do not wish to let me just delete this and let just write me write me a notation check if services Check if services, such services, uh, such services, objects created, were, were created, but I will just write created, created. All right, so at this point, let me just run all all of my tests which I have written just for better feeling yeah I know it can happen that I need to write a lot of code if 
but I do I need I have a feeling to think about before I write further uh, code stuff maybe I'm actually make a make a notation to refactor of one of my classes yeah all all tests passing through so it is better to refactor right now I think this would be sufficient so what I need to refactor I need to refactor check if J document was created let me just refactor it rename it so let's run the test set model test all right it works so now what I need to do check if I need to refactor this method refactor rename check if JDOM document set is set up now it looks up and I can run my test hopefully I didn't broke anything All right, so it looks good. It looks very good. Let me just So basically at this point I'm just thinking about do I need to 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 copy all all of the structure which I have created? Um, I need some sort of more time thinking about this dilemma because when I repeating all in the same code in other class does not make any sense for me right now maybe I decided earlier to do this so, I mean later to decide it and now I just need to think about that I need to write another test for my services set services model uh, set services I have a model and now I need to create set services and before I do this I have to consider I need to close all unneeded in unneeded classes and all of my tests pass. I am pretty sure that I am doing the right job because all of my tests with my code works pretty well. Build success. So right now I just need to think about set services model test until testing if set services model jdom document oh, I need to to refactor the name I don't like I don't like the name jdom document is set up check amount of satellites okay and I I have I have created minimum of sets of, of J unit tests until the point where I actually should think about mm, how to create my set services objects using this another class and let's just think about um, let me just pause and here I am back so yeah I don't need to create further unit tests I need to think about my further structure of my code 
because if I repeat all of uh, the previous implementation steps, I will have a problem of one and the same code and I should probably think about all of the stuff. I should probably extract a class from my model set model class with all of the seta and geta but I need to make it very clean and maybe beautiful so basically I'm just thinking about this loudly because where is my bible so here is the situation when services model I make I did make sure that I can load my JDOM document to the services model I know that I can read that, that I can access and read services point XML now just need to create plain old Java object for services info and now let me just let me just go to the pop to the part where I'm doing this now where I have here so I need to create first of all tests and I will use probably J unit J unit test case new J unit Jupyter test and here I need just to write following so I need to test set services set services and set services represents an object with cons which consists a list of channels for only one satellite and set services should be should have the name of test set services test let me finish this all right so i have my j unit test and now i just need to think about uh, how i should proceed further so here here my point here my xml and i need to compare my path which i have used so set information test set mockup pay for reading files let me just start from the simple simple stuff this is the same stuff which i have used previously testing if set if set uh, set services object set services object exist and now i need to write a setup a setup this setup will be executed before running each of the tests each of the JUnit tests and I need to use let me just think what I need to do to have alright so I need to have an object and this should be here not right import because I have here not set information but rather set services services set services and should should I name it otherwise set services I think this is pretty sufficient I can all I can name it set services list should I name it set services list? 
set services list because I know that I ha that my set services list uh, represents a list of services which are list of channels and let me just write here set services list because it is quite obvious what I have in my case set uh, set info set set services object now let me just do this here and I need to instantiate the object which I need to write things like that so basically this is what I'm actually this is what I'm actually trying to do and to, to pass this test I need to ah, sorry <laughs> I'm pretty pretty overwhelmed currently. And my thinking my thinking process not clear enough, but I'm getting through. I'm getting through. I'm watching at my timer, so I'm almost at the end. And if this test pass, then I will be pretty 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 happy. So basically, I need to create this set services list, and I'm doing. In not in my model I'm doing here in my models and let me just create a class oops my god <laughs> did I did, oh now okay so now I have my class and now I need to import my class set services and of course I need to write new yeah and now I have a, a test which passed before I have written my new class I just I need to make sure that I did write written my failing test. Now it's pass, of course. It's passing through. So basically this works pretty well. And further things further things which I should do. Basically I'm thinking about to work with my set services list. And next thing in order. What is next thing in order? So I did now testing if sat names uh, is equal. Now I'm having the situation. It's almost the same thing. Almost the same thing. I need to make I need to be sure that that I have no repeating that I have no repeating stuff in my class. Hmm. And let me just think it over because I have a wish as I have a strong wish not to repeat myself in my in my in my second class. Let me just think it over. Let me just pause. So I'm back and I found interesting page about refactoring. Uh, so basically I need to make think about it uh, that when I have such situation I have two classes. Uh, this is subclasses with the one superclass. And the solution for such thing is to extract the methods the, with the same name and behavior and extract the field and and create a superclass from which 
from which each of the subclasses uh, inherit the behavior. I don't think this is quite solution which would I like it. I need to read more about this in, on this side and think about this but I'm actually not doing the advices here because I need to make sure that I'm getting through with my goal of my project. And the decision is will be like this. I need to copy this next test, this next failing test. Put here in my set services in set services. And here I just need to write following set information delete. And I need to name it right. So I have here set information, set services, object, set in, no, set services object. And of course I did wrong because it wasn't not in the way how I expected. Now so I need to create constructor in my set services list. And here I have uh, the situation another set services object uh, set info object and here I have here set services object which I'm actually trying to compare. Check check if one of the another uh, set services object need to just write here set services object have equal names and yeah but I will do think about refactoring and putting some stuff maybe later in the project later in the project when I am done my testing things so and what I do with this class well to pass this test I need first of all to create a constructor with a string and of course I need to create here my first attribute Where I have my satellites um, information class. Yeah, here it is. So I copy this stuff, copy right here. Uh, input sat name, and let me just point out this is. What I'm actually do to pass the test and have here this sub name and the value will be assigned. Now it should go and I need keta and theta. Here like this. Next, next move will be where it is my set services no set services test yes yes so I need to write this compare to method it's almost the same stuff almost the same stuff so basically create a method compare to and I need to write my compare to method uh, how about how should I go about because I did create such method in my set information test here is compared to get set name compared to basically I need to copy cop comparable implements
now I need to copy this implement set services list I think I should add the then implemented method I need to copy override and I delete the code which have created Eclipse now this is pretty yeah the situation where you have yeah just copy copy the right parts of the of the code which I need to work with and it's not so much interesting part of programming of work but it is important and now I just need to copy this I think this should be pretty sufficient. So, so let me just do this like this. All right. So, okay. What? Where is the problem? Get services object. Get set name. type method all right so I know what was the problem here it is now now I need to think about uh, okay uh, but I can no, but I can deliver int right so this should work and why am I doing this um, I'm doing this because it is the same history with the satellite so when I create set information objects they should be unique and if the objects are unique they are different per se and this is what I'm actually expect to get so I'm using this com uh, comparable things and just making sure that I have unique objects and this is how it goes get set name Get set set name so get set name compared to get set name and I have the same situation in my list because I have this get and set which I need to move Let's just run a test and see how it goes. This is here, the part is here. So, where is the problem here? I need to understand where is the problem. Okay, so he asked me about the name which I need to pass. Alright, so not a, to not a problem at all. I need to create another variable and I just need to pass I need to initialize it let me just initialize it with the same name I don't think this is pretty so damn important to use another name let me just do it like this and now do it like this the constructor set it up and now it should work without any problem all right yeah I have written my code in the set services looks like this I 
And now it is a point where I need to look for another test. Okay, so set information test. Okay, so here is that was created chick if such service object have equal names. Okay. Now let's look further. Okay, I have almost reached my my time which I have for this project. I mean for today. But I think we should be able to run this particular test. It looks pretty simple. Now write here test for the case where I don't need this set information here. Okay, so I need to create here local variable. And here I need to do this. Uh oh. Let me just Okay, so what I need another set 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 info object but I'm dealing with set services and hmm. expected result actual result let me just do the right stuff okay so I need to create constructor without a name default constructor this is basically this is basically the case where I have kind of odd situation but why not to test it and so what I need to do another set set services object let me just Refactory name. So here, I, here I have my result, and now what I should think about. So I have the situation testing if one of the set services object without a name I need I have a strong wish to give a default uh, default name like it was um, done previously and here yeah things like this set name unknown set name and here I need to point my code Probably it would be better when I use this sat name like this. And now I can test it. Uh, I almost can I test it. So I know it's almost reached the time of one hour. And let me just write my test to the end. Validate result. Set services list. No, here. I just need to make here. Okay, so wrong, wrong, wrong class. Now, here is a method which I need to access. Yep, this is a method. Now I access it. So here I have. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about to use a util, util class for this stuff. I have this a case of repeating the code. <sighs> so, 
that's just do following I need to think about extracting this method I need to extract this method from my tests and because same code it smells pretty bad and I don't like it when I have to use same same stuff repeatedly it's it's not not so good style of the code so I have passing passing code and now I need to work with my two exactly two set services tests so let me just think about what should I do basically uh, this would go to my basically it goes to this part basically I need to do I need to write a, a class Do I need to write a class? This is a case where I have two methods and they are repeating with the same code. Hmm. Okay. So just do I, I think about following this part does not belong to the production code this part belongs to the uh, to the test code and I need to create here a helper helper utils uh, package helper utils and here I will write things like what is what is all about uh, this is a class and this class consists of utils small methods which are pretty clean and well defined so this class will be used only in my unit test classes so let me just do it like this util I don't need to write any other things about I don't need to write another name for this and I have my util and util should consist let me just copy this code and YouTube and put it into the YouTube now okay not a problem not a problem now here I have to I broke my two two unit tests but what I'm actually trying to do I need to think about so in order to do this I need to make sure that I can call this util stuff anytime so private util now I just need to write here uh, helper utils like this now I need to import it yep helper utils util finish and I need to create new util object now I can call it up 
and now I have no duplication of my code now I just need to do things like this let me just think about things like uh, I think I think it is ah sorry Uh, I did forgot now <laughs> now I'd make to make I need to make sure that it's public yeah it should be public right so I have my util util helper now is this code is here and now the same stuff goes for this code so let me just set services list no here it is. I uh, see. I see where I need to add the line. So always try to think about duplicate code. If you can, if you can extract your stuff, do this. Do this in advance. You never know how it can be wrong later. But I will rather use such methods in making sure that I. I don't I don't use repeat repeat code and I don't I just hate to see repeated repetition of the code. Alright, so I fixed my unit tests and let just let just run my my test here. It should go. So Null point exception. Uh, yeah, it is interesting. Ah, okay, so I did not probably I forgot to instantiate. Yeah, I just forgot. Sorry, <laughs> I just forgot to instantiate the object. Right now, let me just. Instantiate here. Oh, yeah. New. Now it should work. Works. And here, let me check it. Yep. And this should work too. Now, let me just run all of my tests. So basically, this is what I'm liking about. Uh, let me just close the stuff which I don't need it. And I will do this in the future. All of my code which I need to repeat, I just extract to the another class. And sure, I may, I should think about inheritance problems. Uh, this would be my first first thinking process to think about inheritance possible inheritance problems but for this case where I am working with my unit tests this, this is, should probably be very sufficient because writing repeating code is not fun is actually making your work even harder later because you see one in the same code at the different places and if you cannot change it you have a problem and it is important to make sure that you do not repeat yourself but let me just conclude I need to run all of my tests let me just Maximize. So, yeah, nothing is wrong, but all works, and I, I like it. So, set services test works well, set services model works well, and so on, on and so on. But I see a problem with the repetition of the code and 
let me just say say following probably at some point I should use repeating code because then later I can just refactor my code in the other class and maybe I, n I don't see now how I how I put the inheritance in the right way so if this is actually good thinking process for me but my tests making sure that I am doing the right stuff that, that my thinking process always uh, in the right way goes in the right way but my set service is currently bus let me just reiterate so here I'm just making sure that uh, pretty obvious stuff does not happen so here I need to write not set info but set services objects and now I just need to copy and I mean to save it and that's it um, yeah well, once again I have an urgency to rethink some of the stuff which I have written maybe and I need to read further contents of this services XML but I think when I see repeat when I write repeating code I will just maybe the, the best way to solve my problem which I currently have is the repeating of my code just to write the repeating stuff and as soon as soon I have written and tested it I just do another step blue face refactor it and I just refactor to another class and this would actually actually make make sure that uh, that I am not repeating myself with, with my code so it will be quite fun but this is a task for the next session so thank you all and till then bye bye